It started five years ago when we first introduced the, the Dragonfly technology. Obviously we'd had years in pipetting with, with Mosquito and, and other pipetting products and got us thinking in particular about combining them into one system. Can we kind of develop this thing that might become you know, something more, something bigger? And that was the start of the, the Firefly project. We looked at where our existing products were going and increasingly over the last few years that has been into genomics applications in particular. We already work with many of the leading institutions across the globe, so actually talking to as many of those as we could really gave us some great feedback and, and really did kind of reinforce the fact that genomics was the right place to be. The difference with the Firefly project compared to others that I've worked on is that it was the focus for the entire company. We quickly formed the Firefly team, which was scientific expertise, engineering expertise and commercial. We were all involved from the very beginning and we were given the best resources, the best people, the best tools and equipment and the clear instruction that whatever was needed to get the job done on time and to the highest standard, we would do it. The biggest challenge of this Firefly project has been the fact that we need to bring together new hardware and software which has been written from scratch and also applications all together in such a short period of time. The cost of sequencing has just reduced so much that it's driving the numbers of samples that labs are processing. So there's greater demand then uh, for automation and it's actually one of the reasons why we've worked so hard to get this product um, out to customers as quickly as possible because the need is there and the need is growing. If we were to do some five build over there. In manufacturing, we're building a couple of instruments in parallel that are helping us get to grips with how do we do the build sequence whilst we're still at a point where you can feed changes back into the design. The biggest challenge on the project was coming up with a solution that included all the key functionality, was user friendly, provided flexibility for different types of customers and was all packaged in a very compact footprint. Working with customers for software design is actually really important because it allows you to deliver a product that customers actually want rather than what we actually think they want. We work with highly collaborative scientists and yet software doesn't allow them to share expertise. We also started off with strong customer inputs which led to a radical redesign of the software architecture and using that to actually drive the whole process really to deliver some very exciting features to the market. We've inbuilt into the software peer-to-peer uh, -peer cloud-based sharing of protocols which we think will really revolutionise this area. I could see a real need for the Firefly in the scientific community. It's a really great piece of lab automation and it's something that I think would make um, the lives of scientists much easier. Firefly is different in, in many ways. At the heart of it, if you look at things like next generation sequencing, there's lots of additive steps where you're dispensing a common reagent across many samples. So when you combine that with pipetting technology for sample transfer, you get a really powerful combined system that gives users much more capability. And uh, there's nothing else on the market that does that. Yeah.